The astonishing fact is that these materials have been around for 100 years. Perovskites have been discovered many years ago here in Russia, actually, by uh, scientists, mineralogists, Le Lev Perovsky. Within a few years, the efficiencies went up from 3 to 22 percent. If we compare this material to the market leader, polycrystalline silicon, the uh, the amount of perovskite we need to get to these high efficiencies is a thousand times less than silicon. So far, nobody has built a production line that would continuously produce perovskite solar cells. And so that is an engineering task that has to be tackled. If the module efficiency reaches 15% and the perovskite module lasts for 15 years, the price of electricity will be significantly below silicon. It will come down from six cents per kilowatt hour to uh, three cents. The consumption of energy will go up, but this increment has to be covered by renewables. We cannot exploit more. Still a long way to go to the 17 terawatt which the world consumes today. But the uh, terawatt scale can be reached pretty soon in photovoltaics, by say 2040. The project has a timeline of three years. During this time, we are carrying out research and development, which we hope will lead to the creation of a prototype, the first production sample of a perovskite solar cell with the necessary characteristics for wider industrial production. Following this, we will study the test results and access the potential for commercial production. If the potential is there, we will work to optimize manufacturing technology to prepare for the mass production of perovskite cells. Else.